uh, went ahead, I think it's still drying, and just kind of put a quick clear coat on these things. Um, sorry about the glare, but there's fish number two. Um, with the thin down acrylic ink. Fish number one with the FW ink. Super, um, and trying to get the, uh, the light glare off. I don't think that that's helping at all. So I'll try to bring the thin down acrylic ink one up again. And these fishes. night. Have fun. Paint me with fish. Okay, guys. Um, there's been some interest in this fish rock. The little guy. So I am just looking for a rock. How about that rock? Um, I'm not wearing my mic. Because this was kind of a, an impromptu thing. Look, my palette's a mess. Okay, so for this fish, this original one, I did use um, something that you guys may not be familiar with. Um, they sell it at Hobby Lobby, um, Dick Blick, um, for sure. I'm not too sure about Michael's um, or Joanne's. But it's this FW Acrylic Artist ink. So it is an acrylic, um, but yeah, it's a lot thinner. But I told somebody in the 801's rock group that I would try to do it with thin down paint. So um, I'm gonna use my golden paints. You might just wanna use whatever you want, so. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just putting out some black on my plate palette. Sorry for all the, the noise. And I am actually going to do the whole thing, whoa, here we go, with this brush. I have no idea what size it was, um, or is, came from Amazon. I've been using these a lot lately, um, because, well, brushes get beat up, they're super cheap. And they work for me. Um, let's see if we can get the palette in here. Okay, so the one thing about doing this is we're going to have to, even if it works, really thin down this paint. So you can kind of see, you know, maybe how thin that is. No. I can zoom in just a little bit more so I'll get dizzy. But this is, this is pretty thin, okay? And it's gonna dry a little bit quicker, I've noticed, so I'm gonna have to keep on thinning it down. Um, as you can see, the rock I am working on is really dark. So, if I get a good light on here. Um, so yeah. Uh, and it gets darker when it gets wet. So that's how we got this nice background. Um, I did spray it. Whoa, here's the rock. I don't know if you can see it. See how it's shimmery? Um, I did spray it with um, some of this. I have no idea what this is. I'm, sure, I'm assuming it's an ink, an acrylic ink. It's spray on. Um, I think you use it in scrapbooking, art journals, but that gave it the shimmer. And I'll kind of show you that at the end. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just kind of sizing up the rock. Just taking some black paint and I am going to draw in a little tiny, or paint in a little tiny pupil. So for this rock, I didn't sketch anything in. I just um, painted it with my paintbrush. Okay. Um, and then I gave it its iris. There we go. OK, 
Okay, the next thing I did after that is I started putting in um, this edge right here and the mouth. So I am just gonna kind of look off the original fish. This paint seems to be working okay. So again, it's just super thin down paint and I'm just barely touching the tip of my brush to the rock. So, just catch that. And then I'm going to bring it back up. I just kind of open mouth and then a little bit back down. I'm not uh, putting very much paint on my brush, but I'm uh, trying to keep it wet and just kind of keep it to the tip. So, uh, I'm pretty zoomed in, so we can see that on there. Okay, and this little fine line coming down to the bottom there. And that's going to be kind of like the inside of his mouth. And I'm kind of having to look a little bit back and forth. Another little line right there. Okay, and it looks like I gave him kind of some fishy eyes. I don't know what these are. Fish have eyelids. My fish has eyelids. So this is coming down and joining up right here. And I haven't had to re-wet my paint yet, but I have a feeling I'm going to. And... And this next line is kind of going around. Oh, it's starting to dry out, so getting back to the right consistency. So we're gonna make this kind of go around to here and then up to here. So we're just kind of building this fish dude up um, shape by shape. So if your paint you're working with is sickening up, just wet your paintbrush, and kind of get it back to a nice spreadable consistency. So, all right, we've got this long diagonal line, kind of comes down to about right here, even with his mouth. And then we're gonna get in this little curved part, so. And just really, really, really lightly trying to keep that brush just the tip touching the um, the rock. And then it has this sort of trapezoidal shape. We'll call it right here. And it's going to be close to the original rock. Um... It looks like it had a curve right there. Got some type of white fleck on it. Get that off. Okay, and then for this fishy body, kind of came around about right here. I'm gonna make a stop for the bottom flipper. And then this one's gonna be a little bit shorter, so this rounded body. So I'm going to start where the tail comes in. Bring it up to his head here. See, I'm picking up a lot of, you know, paint in between, or a little bit of paint in between each stroke. Litter M type line right there. A place for the fin to go. Um, notice I'm not closing the edge. And then the rest of his fishy body. He got a little thick, but he will be okay. And then we'll see how much of the tail we can fit in here. Okay. 
It's a quick rock. I have a parent teacher conference tomorrow, so. Gotta go answer the questions. Why is my child failing art? It all comes down to they're not turning in the work. It should be exciting. Okay, so we, we are getting there. Okay, this other fin is coming out longer at the top and shorter at the bottom, kind of a swoopy line coming in. And then these are like spiky fins down here, okay? So it's gonna be a light touch going in from the, the body and out, kind of slanted backwards. And they get longer and then they get shorter, so. My paint's getting too thick again. Again, if you, if you do a lot of black line work, um, that FW ink is, is fairly awesome for that. I don't know why I haven't used it more in the past. I just, I forget about it because it's in a drawer. And a little bit goes a long way. I did the other fish rock with like a little tiny dropper and um, full like a drop and uh, was able to finish the, the whole rock. Okay, so there's those ones. And I'm just gonna turn this one over. Um, it's gonna start back a little bit. And it's gonna go shorter to longer. Pretty short as it gets closer to the tail. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put some of these black lines in here. And then a few super thin black lines coming back this way. Okay, so these ones are going to get a little bit curved. And they're going to get a little bit shorter. Okay. So now I'm going to pull out. Oops. Sorry. I've got an earthquake going on. <coughs> My white paint. Um, I am just going to use this. Um, so zoomed in. Liquitex. Been really enjoying this paint. Um, been using this white forever. I don't even know how long I've had this tube. It's uh, four ounces. And I've been using it quite a while. And I got out a little bit too much black. So for this one, uh, I should probably zoom out just a little tiny smidgen of white. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I am going to mix up a light gray. So I always mix my darker colors into my lighter colors because it's not going to take very much black to make this white a light gray. Um, and I'm just going to go in and start. Maybe want a little bit more gray. There you go. All right, I'm just gonna kind of put in some of these highlights on this fishy body. If you want it to be more transparent, you can water it down. Since we're gonna seal it, um, it's okay. Uh, water it down a little bit. Let me show you how dark this rock is going to get once it's sealed with water. 
so you guys see that that's just water so it is gonna get fairly dark so these these highlighty places are gonna read hoops fairly light on this rock okay, so they, they will show up and you can kind of have some fun with this it might be a little bit too thin. Looks up. A little bit thicker. Oh, I forgot the black in there. Yeah, I'll fix that. I'll fix this fish's wagon. Okay. I am now officially making no sense. This is called not sleeping well. I'm being up since uh, 4.30. So this is still wet. I'm going to go ahead and just try to mix some of this dark color in there. Am I still in the camera? Okay. I don't even have any music playing. That's weird for me. I think. And then I just picked up a tiny bit of black and I'm just kind of working it in to that um, white. A really light gray. I haven't really put any white on here yet. I'm gonna try making this gray a little bit darker so I'll show you. You guys see that gray on here? A little bit darker. I'm gonna go along the fin here and just add some little gray strokes. We might go in and kind of change some things too once I put that spray on it. Um, you could just, you know, put some sealant on it. It's like a light coat so you can see what color it's gonna turn out when you're done sealing it because the rock won't change color. Well, you can see there's the back of that one, it was the same. That's it with the spray. And then the uh, spray sealer will do that too. So will the resin if you uh, resin it. Okay. So I gotta make the top of this fishy eye a little bit darker. So I just went in for some straight black. My paint is still wet um, underneath. So I'm gonna be able to blend a little bit. Okay, so I'm picking up some light gray. In a minute, I'm gonna pick up some white. Because I'm thinking this needs to be a little bit lighter. Especially down here at the bottom. I'm gonna have to re-outline this too. Okay, so I'm just kind of blending that into the wet paint that's already there. You guys can still see this. I am getting a bizarro glare. Oh, I'm gonna borrow my fish for a second. Okay. Just picked up just a tiny bit of black. So I'm gonna let this dry. Blow on it. <laughs> and I'm trying to do this quick. Motivation, bedtime. Okay, a little bit of gray. And I'm just gonna grab a tiny bit of white to add right down here. That looks pretty cute. Okay, so I'm gonna thin down some white paint because we're gonna go in and start putting in some of the fishy highlights around here. So, Let's see. Right. Oh my gosh. Bad thing about cheap brushes is sometimes the, the tips start to fan a little bit. So you can see I am just kind of adding 
some really thin highlights. So I'm just barely trying to touch um, the brush. Just barely. I'm gonna get this in here. A line and a dot. Look at that. He is coming together. Gotta go still go back in here and put the black. Okay. And as soon as you can get them. I'm just gonna run it alongside the edge of the black. Kind of by the gray. And this is the top part of the fin. So, so yeah, I want to go this way because I want it to go a little bit thicker. Oh my gosh, to thinner. Okay, I'm gonna flip them upside down. Can get these guys in. And it's okay if you go a little bit over the the black line, not lining his body. I think I'm actually going to go in and make it a little bit thicker up there. Anyway, so okay, so I'm going to mix up some almost black gray, and again, I want it to be pretty thin. And I am just going to kind of go up around here. I'm just going to darken that part up just a little bit. A little bit under his underbelly. And this is actually pretty thin. So half of the dark you're seeing is the, um, the rock showing up. So we'll, we'll see this after it dries. You guys will kind of notice this difference, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and put this really dark gray in his fins instead of the black, I think. We'll see how it turns out. But again, as light as you can keep your brush. And then some kind of thin white, or not white, but light gray as well. So this is pretty light. And I am just gonna kind of put some underneath here and that's going to give us his little glow back here. Let's work it into that. It's still a little bit wet. Get some of that dark gray again. And some of the white. So it's like wet into wet brushwork. And then a little bit of the dark. It's kind of like giving him a little shadow effect around his fin. Oh my gosh, you guys. I wish you could like yell at me and be like, Lucas, as my students call me, um, the fish is off the camera. And I'd be like, oh crap. Okay, that is not good. And I put it back on the camera. So I'm actually going to get a little bit of white. It's still wet. So I can get a little bit more of a highlight there. Look at that. Now, I don't know if you guys could tell from the picture on Facebook, maybe you can see it here. There's um, lots of scales. Lots of scales. Oh, I got, dang it, I got white on there. Oh well, I'm gonna fix that. See that what I just did? Goodbye white, okay. So, Again, um, my black's starting to dry out, so I'm gonna thin 
down so some black ink so it's not black ink black paint so it's almost like ink um, for this uh, I guess before I start I'll look for any lines I need to kind of pull back in yeah so on the camera I'm gonna get some black in here Covered up his fin here, so I'm gonna kind of just light touch little black lines. Okay, so this was nerve wracking the first time I did it. What? Okay, it can be a little bit different. So just the tip. I'm just gonna use the very very tip of the brush. Try to steady my hand on something. And I am just going to make uh, all these little tiny scale things as light as I can. Oh, having a hard time getting the paint to the right consistency, but we'll work with it. Nope, oh, too watery. See that? So these are pretty random. It's going on a little bit better. A little tiny bit thicker than I'd like, but that's okay. And little letter C's everywhere. You can see how light some of that, um, <laughs> light some of that dark gray got. Look at this guy. I'm gonna try to give him some more scales over here. Try not to. And I try not to do them in a line. I just noticed that I did. Back there. I don't even know if I'm talking loud enough. Don't have my adapter for my mic because it's on my headphones. Okay. Oh, I, I kind of am liking this fish. Okay, that's just pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, I'm going to let it dry. Let me zoom out. So we'll compare him with this other fish. All right, we got this fish and this fish. And now we are going to split him. And again, if you don't have um, this type of spray, I didn't even know it existed. Um, I bought it from the Clever Octopus. It's an art recycle reuse place in um, Salt Lake City. It's dry. Okay. Well, a few sprays of that on there. All right. So um, you can see the sparkles right now. Just because it kind of moves around as it dries. Uh, and you can see some of this highlight area coming out and stuff. Now, since this does have some sparkle in it, I usually look for um, spots that are just a little bit thicker in sparkle. I'm gonna get rid of it just so we don't lose um, some of the details underneath that and that sparkle. Okay, but there, there we go. Um, I'll take a picture of it when it's dry. You can see it. Didn't really get any. I didn't get any sparkle spray up there. Oh well, goodbye, fish. 
I'll just touch up get my Q-tip. You can really kind of see it. Luckily, it's, it is still moving around. Um, get my Q-tip out. And let's get some of these details back. I'm just move, removing some of these silver sparkles in some areas so we can still see the fish later on. But yeah, it's um, a color mist, color overlay spray, and they all ended up having sparkles in them. I got a few colors, so Mr. Huey's color mists. I have no idea what they are, but they are cool and they do stick to rocks well. It looks like I wiped off some of the highlights, so it might not have been dry yet. I'm going to put that back on the fish eye. My paint dries. And that's a nice thing too, is it seems to be pretty compatible, so I think it's acrylic with uh, the paint. Bring some up some of this back because I think I went a little overboard. Okay, so again, I will take a picture of this fish when he is done drying so you can see him. Um, until next time. Okay, right, fish, this fish. Have a great night. Okay, so I uh, went ahead I think it's still drying and just kind of put a quick clear coat on these things um, sorry about the glare but there's fish number two um, with the thin down acrylic ink fish number one with the FW ink super um, Trying to get the uh, light glare off. I don't think that that's helping at all. So I'll try to bring the thin down acrylic ink one up again. And these fishes are swimming away. Good night. Have fun. Paint me a fish.